Good day, fellow Americans. Today we are here to honor the heroes of the American Revolution. These heroes all played an important role in making America the way it is today. You will get to meet Deborah Sherrington and Molly Pitcher, heroes for paving the way for women and equal rights. You will also meet heroes like Samuel Adams, Benjamin Talmadge, and Hercules Willigan, who risked their lives for freedom. Don't forget about Abigail Adams. You're, You're right. right. Let's, let's not waste any more time and let's meet these American, amazing heroes of the American Revolution. I am Samuel Adams. I'm an important figure in the American Revolution, a fight that changed the course of history. I continuously opposed British rule through my writing. I organized protests and boycotts like the Boston Tea Party. My speeches and essays helped unite colonists and push them toward the idea of independence. My influence went beyond simple rebellion. I was a firm believer in individual liberty and, li and limited government. These ideals, found in the Declaration of Independence that I signed, continue to be core American values. They've also served as inspiration for democratic movements around the world. My legacy lives on in the fight for liberty and democratic ideals throughout the world. I am a spy named Benjamin Talmadge. My legacy extends beyond the American Revolution itself. I'm leader of the Cobra Spy Ring, which stands as a key influence on the world we live in today. This network provided inf important information to General Washington, tipping the scales in favor of American victory. My methods include code names, invisible ink, and a, net and a network of human resources laid the groundwork for future U.S. intelligence operations. The Cobra Ring's success not only directed, directly impacted the war's outcome, but also established some of the principles that continue to guide Americans' intelligence practice today. My name is Hercules Mulligan. My early life was a, was a su successful person. For example, after graduating, I worked as a, a clerk for my father's a, accounting business. Another example, I later went on to open tailoring and haber, haber dashing, dashery business, catering to wealthy officers of the British Crown Forces. I used the Cobra Spire, for example. I would gather information, talking to officers, in, and then pass it to King George. Another example, my slave kid was a black patriot who served as a spy together with me and often acted the role of carrier in part of the British held ter territory by exploiting his status as a slave, letting me pass on the challenge to the Continental Army without being detained. It affected my life because I got discharged in freedom. For example, I, would, I was discharged in 1783 and moved to Plymouth, Massachusetts. Another example, in 1778, Cato was granted his freedom in return for his service during the war. I am Deborah Sampson. I shattered gender barriers during the American Revolution. I disguised as a man and served in the Continental Army, proving women's capability and courage in combat. Even though women were excluded from official military roles at the time, my bravery and perseverance challenged those limitations. Following the war, I became a person, a public figure, campaigning for a full military perseverance at this act, the way for future generations of women seeking equal rights, opportunities in the American, in the military. The story continues to inspire women to defy limitations at the fight for their place in traditional male domination fields.
My legacy isn't just a military service. By defying socially expectations for carving my own path, I became an early symbol of woman agency and a role model for these women who dared and dreamed beyond the, com the confines of their time. My name is Abigail Adams. I left a lasting mark on the fight for women's rights. I am most famous for my 1976 letter to John Adams, begging him to remember the ladies. When drafting new laws for the nation, this request, though so not directing at voting for voting rights, highlights the hypothesis for of fighting for liberty while rejecting women's, women's basic rights. This planted a seed of an idea that women deserved a say in the government, government activities. And ladies, we definitely deserve a say. Beyond this, I believe in educating women when I believe educated mothers would raise strong, informed citizens, citizens required for a new republic. My position for women's education gained for during the 19th century, I was active, engaging in politics with my husband, and we challenged the opinion of women just stay at home. I inspired my future generations to run, to fight for, for, for fairness. Remember, you can too. My name is Molly Pitcher. I am most known for helping in the war with giving soldiers pitchers of water for either their cans or their thirst. But one day out of all days, my husband got hurt. Quickly, I sprung into action when he fell. I helped him get somewhere safe, but I noticed his cannon empty. It was the cannon that I had to control for my husband. Then I left him there to rest, took his cannon, and helped with fighting too. People now remember what I did to help my husband in war. I taught people that women can help a lot too. After the war, I was then commended by George Washington for my heroic bravery. Remember that women were not allowed to fight. It might not have been my first choice, but I did what needed to be done. Your strength is always with you. Thank you for listening into the amazing contributions of these men and women. We will continue to look back in history and recognize heroes that paved the way for our country. Their hard work and dedication to our country's rights to be free of King George did not go unrecognized. Thank you again. Don't forget that you can also be a hero. Remember, hard things come with difficult challenges, such as death, such as death or destruction. Stay positive and fight for freedom.